Oregon is certainly famous for its wines. Wineries now number over 450 across Oregon, but they're also known for their vineyards as places to escape and explore and get out of the hectic world of city hubbub and noise. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week we visit one particular site that's known for its connection to the wine industry, but will give you a place to find peace, find serenity, and enjoy Oregon wine country. Taiyi Wine Cellars near Corvallis is about as grassroots as it gets. Owner Dave Buchanan can show you why. This is a real farm. This is a working farm, and I think that's kind of intriguing to people. Buchanan boasts five generations of family on his Oregon Century farm. Back in the 70s, he turned away from dairy to wine grapes. Well, not very many people knew much, and I was really didn't know much. I actually had three or four winemaking books, and they didn't. They all said something different, you know. <laughs> Dave says his family's learned much about growing and producing award-winning Pinot and Chardonnay the past 40 years. How Aren't old they? are these oak trees? Well, they say they're three to 400 years old. Well, you never much. know you're in a vineyard. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. This is a, some more complexity here. <laughs> yeah. Finding peace and serenity in Oregon's wine country and building a business has proven a winning combination for many of Oregon's 450 plus wineries. But in Yamhill County, at Our Lady of Guadalupe Trappist Abbey, it is more. We're an order of contemplative prayer and meditation. We don't work in parishes or in schools or in hospitals, and that's why our means of support are rather odd compared to other religious orders. The Abbey's connection to Oregon's wine story is unique. They do not grow grapes or make wine. They store it, cases of it, on pallets that soar to the ceiling. How many wineries are represented here? About 129, I think it is. Wow. And that's varied throughout the years. Father Richard Layton says 40,000 square feet of warehouse space is critical to wineries that must keep their products safe and secure. This is exactly what the wine industry needs in Oregon, is warehouse space. And that was true, that was 1991. And so we, we had all the, we had the electricity, we had a lot of the ventilation going on. We just need to put in some coolers and also some furnaces to keep the temperature at 60 degrees. Not just storage, but labeling too. And once you do this enough, you get really fast. And it's actually a really great workout because you're lifting those cases of wine all day long. And there's more. There goes the raisins. The Trappist Abbey's fruit cakes and date nut cakes are world famous and based upon prized recipes that were created in the early 80s. Weekly production keeps up with demand. About a thousand cakes. Then they are shrink wrapped and put into the boxes and go into the cooler and they keep very well until it's the holiday season and then they come out and they're shipped out. Outside, the Abbey's 1,400 acres of mixed fir forest and oak savanna offer miles of trails with stunning views. The sort of place that is perfect for getting away from it all. And you can. We do have retreat units here that are open to the public. They're able to go to the chapel and listen to the monks chant. And on a beautiful day like today, it's a great place to be. It's a lot of silence, a lot of solitude. So that's what the grounds have to offer here. The nice thing about a visit to the Abbey is that it offers just the right amount of retreat. You can attend church services. You can stroll the grounds. And yes, that fruitcake, it is delicious. We have all the details, the directions, and the contact information so you can make your own outdoor adventure right here on the Travel Oregon website, so be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComb.